I recently did a live stream Q&A session with Chuck Peoples from Homestead Medical. And during that live stream, I asked him if he could give us a list of recommended books that we should have in our Homestead library. He sent the list, and I was just going to drop it into the uh, community page on the, our channel, but I thought about it, and I thought instead I would show you what the titles look like and tell you a little bit about them so you could decide if you wanted to get it for your library or not. So let's do that. Hey everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Acres. Well, like I said, I asked Chuck Peoples if he could give us a list of recommended books for the Homestead Library, and he sent it. But before we talk about it, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join our virtual community. If you like topics from homesteading to prepping and everything in between, we'd like to have you join us on this journey to a life done free. Before we talk about the titles themselves, Let's talk about the importance of having a physical homestead library. So a physical homestead library, not only does it give us the ability to access knowledge anytime we want, whether the lights are on or the lights are off, it gives us the security of knowing that our knowledge is, is, is safe in the digital era where anytime the electricity goes out, we run the risk of actually losing our data. So having a library like this that's behind me is, is extremely important for the homestead. You know, you, you may be without internet, you may be without power, and if that happens, we need to be able to access the information that, that we need. All right, so that's why a uh, physical homestead library is important. Now, let's talk about the titles. So Chuck, Chuck sent me a list of six titles that he felt were very important to have in our homestead library. And I hadn't, hadn't seen a couple of them before, so I went online and started started doing a little research about them, see what they were about. And as I was doing it, I said to myself, you know, instead of just dropping this into the community page like you originally said, let's do a little bit deeper dive into it and, and tell everybody what the titles are about, all right, and give some information about it so you know if you want to put it into your library or not. So let's go through the titles. The first title on the list is called Arbox Wilderness Medicine by Paul S. Arbuck. It's in its fifth edition, which was published in 2018. And all the prices I got here are off of Amazon. If you can find them cheaper uh, someplace else, I would highly recommend it. If not, I'm going to put the links to the books down below so you can go check them out yourself and, and possibly order them off of, uh, Amazon if it's easier for you. Okay? And I've, I've got my notes here in front of me, so pardon me if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm, I'm reading off the, the notes that I've got here. All right. So, Arbox Wilderness Medicine by Paul S. Arbach. Uh, on Amazon, it cost approximately $51 for the Kindle version and $160 for the ebook uh, soft cover bundle. Uh, now, the book offers a proven practical visual guidance for effectively diagnosing and treating a full range of issues that can occur in situations where time and resources are scarce. This indispensable resource equips physicians, nurses, advanced practice uh, providers, first responders, and rescuers with the essential knowledge and skills to effectively address and prevent injuries and illnesses, no matter where they happen. The next book on the list is also by Paul S. Arbuck. So this is the Field Guide to Wilderness Medicine Expert Consult by Paul S. Arbach and Benjamin B. Constance. It's also in its fifth edition, which was published in 2019. Now, this book uh, for the Kindle version costs $32, and for the ebook print version, which is a paperback version, uh, $54. So, Dr. Arbuck's renowned wilderness medicine text. Field Guide to Wilderness Medicine 5th Edition is your portable authoritative guide to a full range of medical and emergency situations that occur in non-traditional settings. Useful for experienced physicians as well as advanced practice providers, this unique medical guide covers an indispensable range of topics in a well-illustrated, highly condensed format in a print or mobile device for quick access anytime, anywhere. Now, these books go hand in hand. So the, the, the wilderness medicine provides you the basis for it, and the field guide is just a compact version of that book, so you can take it with you and throw it in your pack and, and have it any place you want. All right, let's go to the next one. The third title book is Where There Is No Doctor. This book is in its 19th edition, which was printed in, in 2022. This book has been around since the late 60s, all right? 
It comes in a free PDF download. You can find it on the net. There are several different places where you can get the PDF. But if you want a professionally bound book with a, a good cover and everything, you can buy a copy off of Amazon. There are sellers out there that have done that for you. Okay, so here's the description. Considered by the World Health Organization to be the most widely used healthcare manual in the world, where there is no doctor provides easy to understand information on how to identify, treat, and prevent many common health issues. Heavily illustrated and written in plain language, this handbook emphasizes addressing the underlying causes of poor health and focuses on cleanliness, healthy diet, vaccinations, and appropriate cautious use of medicine. Useful for health workers, educators, and other, others involved in primary care and health promotion. Where there is no doctor has been translated into 75 languages around the world. This practical and trusted guide helps readers protect and care for their own health and that of their families and communities. Now, like I said, this can be get gotten in a free PDF. I'll put the link down below along with the link to the Amazon uh, seller that, that I, I and you can do it either way and you can literally take it to staples or somebody that prints off uh, spiral bound books for for people so any office store and have them print it off for you because it's in the public domain now as a side note where there is no doctor there are two uh, companion books that they wrote for this the, the same purpose one is where there's no dentist and the format and style is exactly like uh, where there is no doctor and all it does is cover dental uh, dental problems and the third one in that book or in that series is um, where there is no midwife and it it's done in the same style and it is about midwifery so I would suggest if you you find where there's no doctor download those other two PDFs and get them either buy buy copies or have somebody print off a, a spiral bound version for you so you've got these in your library now mine uh, actually actually I gave away my spiral pound bound uh, version so I went ahead and bought the the uh, professionally done one and I've got I've got where there is no dentist and where there is no midwife on PDF on digital format, so I need to get those into spiral bound hard, you know, hard tangible books. Okay, the fourth title on the list is is entitled "Ditched Medicine" by Hugh Coffee, and the the latest version was 1993. Now it is out of print at the moment, but you can find copies. I found, I found a a new copy of it someplace for eighty nine dollars, and I found a collector's edition for five hundred. So the and and the price runs the gamut all the way between there when you can find it. It's it's actually kind of hard to find because uh, a, a lot of people like the book. Now the description is. Whether it's in a war zone or a civil, uh, civil disaster area, traumatic injuries often occur in remote, unsanitary locations. This book teaches advanced field procedures for small wound repair, care of the infected wound, IV therapy, pain control, amputations, treatment of burns, airways, procedures, and more. So I'll put the link to the Amazon seller that I found that's got this book. And I just want to say this, this, this book... Uh, from everything I've read about it is is a great resource for first responders and the the description in it it talks about a war zone or a civil disaster area that uh, often occur in remote unsanitary locations you know if you live on a homestead that you know that, that sounds very very ominous right but if you live on a homestead you know if you get hurt Chances are you're going to be covered with mud. There's there's going to be all kinds of contaminants. So so books like this, even though they they are meant for disasters, are great for having on the homestead because we're working in conditions that it may take hours for a first responder to get here. So we're going to be providing our own our own first response. That's why it's important to have this type of knowledge. And and the reason why I say this is because the next two titles, the last two titles on this list are specifically geared towards that in mind okay so the next one is the special operation forces medical handbook uh, the latest edition is 2017 
On Amazon, it's approximately $34. And the, the description is, the Special Forces Medical Handbook is a comprehensive reference designed for combat and Special Forces medics in the field. It is also a must-have reference for any military or emergency response medical personnel, protect the, particularly in hostile environments. Developed as a primary medical information resource and field guide for Special Operations Command, SOCOM, as a grid-down medical reference for a doomsday prepper, it can't be beaten. It defines the standard for healthcare delivery under adverse and general field conditions, organized according to symptoms, organ systems, specialty areas, operational environments, and procedures. Emphasis, it emphasizes acute care in all its forms, including gynecology, general medicine, dentistry, poisonings, infestations, parasitic infections, acute infections, hyper and hypothermia, high altitude, aerospace, divine oh dive medicine and sanitation so i'll put the link down there and i i do not have do i have that one in my do i have that one in my book in my library no i do not have that one in my library i've got i've got another one that's that's similar to it uh, someplace well it's here in this mess someplace the sixth and final title on Chuck's list is Pararescue Medical Operations Handbook by USAF Pararescue Medical Program. The latest edition is 2021 and on Amazon the cost is approximately $8 for a paperback. All right, and so the the description is this revised handbook includes an outline of the principles of PJ Messonets that's Parajumper. Those are the 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 Air Force Special Forces Medic guys, or pararescue guys, and the patient assessment checklist. This approach to patients is slightly modified from traditional primary and secondary surveys to reflect both a more efficient and a comprehensive approach to combat trauma based on PJ experience and data from overseas contingency operations. Portions of the tactical care... Portions of the Tactical Combat Care Guidelines and the ATAP, Tactical Medical Emergency Protocols, TMEPS, that pertain to the pararescue are included and have been modified to suit the PJ mission. The goal remains to have PJs work in a single standard. This section, the section on prolonged care has been modified and expanded based on PJ experiences. Now this book is a a book that's literally been been modified and updated and and brought into the, the present through practical experience in a war zone over 20 plus years in the GWAT, the the uh, global war on terror. So this book this book um, will help you understand how to how to operate in a very austere setting. All right. I have not, this is not in my library either, but I have seen it, and it's a very, very good book. Well, there you have it. There are the six titles that Chuck People from Homestead Medical sent us after I asked him to do that in our live stream. Now, as far as the live stream, I'll put a link up here so you can go check it out if you want to. See the whole, see the whole live stream. It was actually a pretty good live stream, in my opinion. I really enjoyed talking with Chuck. And like I said, I'm putting the links to the Amazon titles down below in the description so you can go there and check it out yourselves. And if you feel like buying it through the link that I provided, know that, that you'll be helping support our channel because we are Amazon affiliates. I'm just, just letting you know. That this All right, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Smash that uh, thumbs up button so so YouTube knows you like this kind of content so they'll show you more of it uh, hit that notification bell so you know when we drop more content like this most importantly at the end of the day I want you to go out and have pursued a life done free all right you guys take care <laughs> thanks Milo